Hello everyone, Joanne here from Session Cafe. We are almost done with this session planning extravaganza. Give yourself a pat on the back, but in some ways I think we're at one of the most important steps, scheduling your work. Because it's real easy to do the plan and not put a plan in place to prepare it. So here are a few of my tips. I'm going to make sure I'm getting them off my list. The first is note any songs that you need to locate, whether it's the music for you to learn, a recording for you to learn from, whatever it is, locate those items and identify them. Then at least one month prior to that session, I know I'm pushing you, one month prior to that session, you want to have that scheduled on your calendar as a to-do item, locating those things that you need to learn. Number two is you need to identify what materials you need to create. Maybe it's you need uh, an image file or you need some type of prop. So you need to identify those items and my recommendation is two weeks prior to the session, be sure that you've scheduled time for creating those or doing that last minute pickup. Speaking of which, in 11C, we talked about being sure you had your materials purchased. Now, depending whether those are online or something that you can get local, you better put the, make sure that you really did put that in your calendar far enough in advance, okay? Because we all know how that goes. You may need time to research those trivia items or historic facts if you're singing about particular individuals or a particular period of time. Be sure you schedule that in your calendar too, well ahead of your session so that you can put it in, make sure that it's going to fit the current client situation. Um, I also would recommend if you are planning for say two to three months out, that you schedule a date or a time to review those items. Yeah, I said review. You want to go back and look at those items and make sure that the session plans still fit the situation. It's not going to take you that long, trust me. It really is, like I said in a recent post, much easier to do that kind of scheduling. And the big one for a lot of us, scheduling time to learn the music. Now this really depends on you, how much it is you need to learn, your learning style. There are several ways to do this. You can listen to recordings if you're a person that's pretty good at learning that way. You might take a recording and have it playing in the background and verbalize the chord changes over it if you're working on learning that. I would suggest also you could do an audio where you say the chord, strum it, sing some of the words. I'm using guitar as an example obviously, but playing with what it is you are going to need to do for you to learn it. So there's many, many options for learning, and in fact, that will be our challenge statement on this one. So, for now, get yourself scheduling these actions on your calendar, because with them, you're going to be able to walk into those sessions feeling much less stressed. Until our final video, goodbye for now.